Hi guys, it's Rumor Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 308 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Assuming that you tried this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. The X in with the loss amount sustained by an insurance company's policyholder in an auto collision. Let Z denote the portion of X that the insurance company will have to pay. And actually, the determines that X and Z are independent, independent with respect to densities and probability function X and Z. Okay, calculate the variance of the insurance company's claim payment, Z and X. Calculate the variance of Z and X. Um, well, this is just equal to the second moment of Z and X. Maybe I'll do it like that. Minus the expectation of Z of X. The whole thing squared. Okay, let's just dive right in. <laughs> I, think, I, I said that twice, oops. So, expectation of Z of X, the second moment, is act, because they are independent, we can actually split this up and say this is the equal to the second moment of Z times the second moment of X. So what is the second moment of Z squared? Okay, so this one's a little bit more trickier to find, but we know that the, um, oh, no, 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 it's not, I'm just kidding. So this is just equal to X squared, that's 1 squared times 0.45 plus another X squared, because this is a discrete um, function, discrete distribution, so that's 0 squared times 0.45. This is just equal to 0.45. Okay, I'm going to write it here. I don't want to take up too much space. Okay, so what is, how about the expected, um, the second moment of x? Okay, this one's a little bit more tricky, that's what I was talking about. So this, we know x is an exponential function with very, um, with mean equal to 8, right, 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 because we proved that, um, this is equal to, this is our density, probability density function, and lambda goes in here, this is 8, um, and then we also proved in my other video that the variance of an expected variance of an expect, um, exponent, exponential distribution is just lambda squared. So this is equal to um, 64, right? But we need the second moment. So that means second moment, again, is just variance equals second moment minus the first moment squared, right? So we know that the variance is 64. We don't, we, we don't know what this is, the second moment. No, I, I put the thing on the outside. Here we go. Minus the uh, mean square. So that's um, 8 times 8. That's six, 64, right? I'm going to add it to the other side. So I get that the expected value is equal to 64 plus 64, which is equal to 128. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So then our expected value of z, second moment of z, second moment of z and x is equal to 0.45 times 128. Okay, let me plug that into my calculator real quick. 0.45 times 128. So that's equal to 57.6. Okay, so now the means. The means, we, the means we can do the same way. Because they are independent, we can split this up into z, and we can split this up into x. So expected, expected value z, well, that's just 1 times 0.45 plus 0 times 0.55, which is just equal to 0.45. How about for, z, um, this is x, by the way. Oh, oh no, z, by the way. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and how about for x? Well, x, we just know is this one right here, right? Lambda mean is the same thing as x with the value, so that's just 8. So that um, z, x, this value is equal to 0.45 times 8. Let me plug that into my calculator. 8 times 0.45 is equal to 3.6. So finally, we can find the var variance. Variance of z of x. This is just equal to 57.6 minus 3.6, this whole thing squared. So that's, this value is equal to 12.96, right? So that's 57.6 minus 12.96 equal to 44.64, which is our answer, E. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Bye.